Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering a question from an IGCSE uh, paper 2 from Cambridge uh, CA, CIE exam. This is the 0580 um, paper 2 variant 1 from October, November 2021. Um, I answer these questions by request. Normally, I don't normally go through the whole paper except for a few of them. So as, a stu as students ask me, I answer the question. So now it says the scale drawing shows the positions of two towns P and Q. The scale is one centimeter represents four kilometers. And the question tells us to find the actual distance between the town P and the town Q. So here we're going to take the ruler. Okay, so um, we take the ruler and I've done this such that the ruler is according to the same scale as your paper that you have. All right, and you just measure, simply measure the distance between those two points, between P and Q. And we can see here it's 8.2 centimeters on the ruler. So this length between P to Q, in terms of the ruler that we have here, is 8.2 centimeters. So PQ is equal to 8.2 centimeters on the paper. But we want to find the actual distance between town P and P, town Q. So we say one centimeter is four kilometers. So we take 8.2 centimeters and we multiply it by four. And that will give us the answer in kilometers. So we have 8.2 multiplied by four, which gives us 32.8 kilometers that's 32.8 kilometers one centimeter is four kilometers that means 8.2 centimeters you multiply by four and that will be answered in kilometers so it's 32.8 kilometers there's the answer to part a of this question then it says for part b it says measure the bearing of town q from town p town q from town p so what we need to do now is we need to take um, our protractor, which is over here, and we've got to measure the angle from the north line. And the north line is already drawn. It says of town Q from town P. So we're starting at P. So the north line has to be at P. I'm just going to extend it a bit so it's easier to see in our, our, our uh, protractor and also make it a bit thinner so it's a bit more accurate. Okay, so there's the north line. I've just extended a little bit. So I've got to measure the angle always measured from the north line and always clockwise. So I'm going to put this along the north line and do it such that it's, you know, in line properly. Straight up. And I'm going to start from the scale that's, um, well, I'll also draw, I'll draw a line joining P and Q together. That's important as well. So that I can see that on the diagram. So I'm going to join P and Q together with a very thin line. That's the first thing I should have done. And now I can see the angle I'm looking for is this angle starting from the zero scale. So that looks like it's at 65 degrees. 65 degrees. Okay, we can see that. 65 degrees, that's right. So, that, yeah, that's 65 degrees. So we can say that the bearing... Okay, if that's 65 degrees, which I'll write in here. I'll just move out of the way. That's 65 degrees. So the bearing, remember, is always written with a zero in front. If it's, uh, it has to be three figures. So if it's a two-digit number, you write it with three digits. So that's, that's the bearing of Q from P, of Q from P. So you're starting at P, you're facing Q. If it was of P from Q, we would find the angle here. We would have to find the angle on the inside here first and then subtract that from 360. But it says of Q from P, so it's this angle on this side. You're starting at P, you have to face Q, you have to go for the north line and you have to go clockwise until you're facing Q. So that's the bearing of Q from P. All right, so we've used these. I'll leave that there in case I need it. Then it says town X is 28 kilometers from town P on a bearing of 140 degrees. On the scale drawing, mark the position of town X. Okay, so now, first of all, um, I need my, my protractor back. All right, so it says town X is 28 kilometers from town P. So again, we're starting from town P, but this time a bearing of 140. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to measure an angle of 140 from the north line. So I'll start from the north line as before, 
but this time we've got to go an angle of 140 degrees now 140 degrees is if you're starting from the zero scale it's going to be all the way down here that's 140 degrees over here so i'll put that mark there for 140 degrees i have to try and be accurate here but what i'll do is i'll draw a line that would be better okay from here going along exactly 140 degrees and then i can adjust the length of the line afterwards so that is our that that angle now is 140 degrees Okay, so that angle here is 140 degrees. That's a bearing of 140 degrees from P. Now, we want to measure um, 28 kilometers. So, if one centimeter is four kilometers, then 28 kilometers is X centimeters. Move this rule out of the way a bit. I'll put it down here. So, we know that one centimeter is four kilometers so we want to know how many centimeters does 28 kilometers represent so of course it's going to be seven x is going to be seven centimeters okay 28 divided by four which will give you seven so we have to measure along this line seven centimeters so i'll take the ruler and i will adjust it oh it's so i've almost drawn it exactly the right length from there exactly seven centimeters along so we can just stop the line at seven it's a bit too long make it a bit shorter Okay, so that's exactly seven centimeters. So we measured seven centimeters, seven, seven centimeters along the line. If you want to just use a protractor, measure seven centimeters, make an arc there and mark that point. That's probably even better. So on the scale drawing, mark the position of town X. So I'm going to put here X. Okay, this is the point X. This is the, this is the position of X. I'll, I'll do it like this. That point is X. All right. And we know that this is. 28 kilometers or seven centimeters on our scale drawing so that answers question number six it's all about scale drawings and a bit about bearings as well i hope that was clear um other questions from this particular paper this october 2021 um paper two variant one can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here other questions okay about bearings and about scale drawings can be found in the playlist over here so i'll have this for scale drawings and this for bearings i'll put in both playlists and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link in the middle thank you for watching and see you soon